was that after the last two years, being stuck inside, living in uncertainty, I now feel the urge to do everything. Going out, partying, traveling. And it can be overwhelming sometimes. So lately I've been slowing down and spending time on the simple but beautiful things in my everyday life. Good morning! Today is such a beautiful day so I'm going to start my day with a walk. But before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to YFood for partnering with me on today's video. You guys know that I really care about nutrition, what I put in my body and the environment. And I've been loving YFood shakes recently. It's not a diet shake or anything, but really a meal replacement that keeps you full and satisfied for hours. It's perfect for when you're on the go or when life's a bit hectic and you don't have time to cook a meal for yourself, but still want all the nutrients you need, all their shakes are lactose and gluten free and most important they also have a vegan range with five different flavors my favorite at the moment is banana oh it's just so sweet Another big plus is that their package is carbon neutral and 100% recycled material. So if you want to try out Y food, you can get 10% off your order with code IRISWELLE10. This only applies on their Dutch website, which will be linked down below. Thanks again, Y food, and I'm going to grab myself a shake and go for a walk. so lucky to be living in a city that is surrounded by nature. It's so beautiful to see the seasons change. The green leaves, all the different colorful flowers. It feels so peaceful. So I just got back. I went to the store. Let's do a little haul where to start i have the usual spring onion an orange bell pepper and a red one lemon eggplant banana strawberries strawberries have been the best lately i'm obsessed with a bit of yogurt and some fresh granola and then these strawberries it is just perfect tomatoes i have a cucumber avocados some fresh ginger flat peaches these are one of my favorite fruits so good i have coconut milk chickpeas and tahini and then i have this turkish bread and then finally i have these really delicious they always have fresh like spreads and all kinds of olives and it's so good and i really like these big olives that still have the bit in them mm. and then finally vegan milk chocolate salted caramel but i almost finished it just on my way walking and everything so oh well now i am gonna put this all away and then i'm going to sit down and relax for a little bit maybe i'm gonna make myself a little cup of tea this insane salad bowl for dinner um, it has lettuce pearl couscous some peas tomatoes cucumber avocado bell pepper spring onions garlic I added some fresh hummus and 
it smells amazing and I cannot wait to dive in. Actually, I do need a little bit of pepper. Let's do a little taste test. Saturday and I'm in bed. I'm just gonna have a long night of sleep But first I'm gonna finish conversations with friends. I only have maybe like 20 pages left I really don't mind not doing things on Saturday evening if I'm not feeling like it I don't have FOMO whatsoever. I just like to be by myself sometimes get out of bed this morning i woke up at 8 30 but i had my breakfast and everything and i just chilled in bed for i don't know two hours it is now 10 30 and i was like okay it's time to get out of bed get my day started because it's going to be a beautiful sunny day 21 degrees so i want to make the most of it and i'm gonna start with some pilates i've been loving pilates lately I run a lot and I just love running. It's so easy, you don't need anything. It's really nice to clear my head and just have no thoughts and go and be outside. But I've been noticing that I'm not really feeling super strong lately and I don't like strength training. I don't have a gym membership, but I was like, okay, I need to do something else besides just running. So I've been doing Pilates. I love the stretching in between and the breath work and I've been noticing such a difference. A lot more defined muscles. I feel so much stronger and I feel like my posture is getting better. So I've been doing them at home three or four times a week and then run like two times a week as well. So that's kind of my balance with like what I'm doing for workouts lately. I'm gonna do 40 minutes today and then when I'm done I'm going to shower, get ready, I'm gonna have lunch with my friends. Yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Ugh, let's let's start. Let's have a little sip of water and get today started.
I surround myself with the people that I feel comfortable around, even on the days where I don't feel 100% or when I'm struggling. Friends with whom I can just relax and talk for hours, sharing our thoughts and feelings, really slowing down together. sitting on the balcony and I made an amazing curry it is so sunny and peaceful and I just feel really really good and happy I love cooking at home but this is the part that I'm not a big fan of but let's clean. I really wanted to film outside, but we have these kids like next door and they are so, so loud. Just when I was eating my dinner, one of them had a little tantrum and it took forever but anyways i am going to sit outside though i just made myself a little cup of tea i'm gonna do my weekly reflection and some journaling in the sun because it's still sunny on the balcony earlier i talked about switching off my thoughts by moving and working out but it's also important to allow your thoughts to be there and to embrace them writing in my journal is helping me to process my thoughts why am i feeling a certain way what are these feelings trying to tell me it's okay to feel stuck in life sometimes, or to feel lost. Just know that it is in these everyday things where you can find peace and take care of your mind, your body, your soul. We're all just here trying to become the best version of ourselves. And it may take some time, and we all make mistakes along the way. And that's okay. But just remember that, as cliche as it sounds, everything is gonna work itself out in the end. You really deserve everything in the world. We all do.